Now, but again, you know, to borrow your phrase, taking a step back and looking at what's going on in the industry, I, I get what you're saying. And if I'm understanding you correctly, you don't think that the European courts have a basis really for the action they may be taking against Malta. But regardless, that sentiment is still there, right? And there's still, uh, a, you know, some sort of dislike of, of, of those types of products. And even though they may not have a basis, they have successfully dealt with at least two or three other European countries who had similar types of programs. So with, with that in mind, it seems, you know, one can speculate that where there's a will, there's a way, and they will figure out some sort of angle to get it curtailed. Now, once that's done, you know, I'm looking at the bigger mm -hmm. picture. I, I saw what happened to Vanuatu, where they lost access oh, yeah. To, yeah. to the Schengen area. And I know that there's also dislike of the Caribbean programs. So, you know, my 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 position is that these things have uh, a limited life. You know, it, at some point in time, they're going to be probably not completely shut down because as you pointed out, you really can't take away the the base, you know, the, the ability of a country to give citizenship, especially in exceptional circumstances. But the, the package product side of it, I, I kind of see that disappearing. What are your thoughts on that? What What is your perspective on what the future holds? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as I said, as you, as you repeated, basically, there is yeah. no merit in the EU Commission's case. Yeah. But that does not mean that the ECJ will decide in exactly this way, because yeah. the ECJ, the European Court of Justice, very often sees his role less in an arbiter of truth and less in sort of uh, uh, analyzing statutes. But maybe you could say he's a kind of mode of integration, trying to sort of mm -hmm. integrate the European Union and uh, in many cases, Cases basically helping the European Commission to strengthen uh, uh, its uh, uh, sort of its its base, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it might well be that uh, that this battle uh, is lost on political grounds. On legal grounds, uh, uh, the case is, is quite clear. I've read uh, a number of um, uh, articles and and uh, assessments on, on this. Uh, that there's a there's a group which deals with uh, uh, investment migration, and they have um, also a, a kind of statement on the Maltese case. We'll see, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's it definitely, uh, I think, uh, on the sort of horizon uh, for the European Commission, regardless of how this case ends, to somehow maybe uh, pass a kind of directive which mm -hmm. uh, sort of harmonizes uh, these rules. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the big th the big topic actually uh, is because you, you know that I mean corporate taxation uh, uh, here the uh, the uh, sort of the the role. Uh, of, of the EU is really strong. Yeah? So this, yeah. this is getting more and more harmonized. You have the OECD initiatives and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, probably the next thing, the next frontier that the European Commission will want to tackle is the individual. Are these individual, uh, uh, these special regimes for high net worth individuals in the EU, in, in EU member states. So for example, I mean, originally you had the, the UK, it was not, it's not anyway a member state with the resident non dom regime. You had Switzerland with the lump sum of for fair regime. Uh, but in the EU you have, I mean, you have the uh, uh, the, uh, the Portuguese, no, we have the Beckham law in Spain, we have rest yeah, in Spain, uh, law, uh, yeah. Ireland, uh, flat tax in Italy, yeah, yeah so Europe. and Greece, which is a copy of Italy. Uh, so there, there, there is a lot of, uh, a lot, and in Italy, you have also other regimes. So there's, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, systems, there are a lot of systems in place which want to attract high net worth individuals from other countries. Yep. The idea being, mm. of course, it's unfair to tax this guy and have him, he only has to pay 100,000 euros. Yes. Whereas <clears throat> I am an Italian living here for decades, uh, since my birth, actually, and I pay five times as much, exactly. uh, uh, tax that, that he does. But the, the idea is always, okay, but, Basically, he's not, he has no Italian connection. He will not be paying any tax mm -hmm. and we are bringing him here. Uh, so this will benefit us because he does not, not only pay the 100,000 euros. He will have staff and he will pay value added tax for his cars and yeah. villa and uh, I don't know what gadgets. Uh, so there will be a lot of revenue coming from this. Mm -hmm. And the EU Commission, uh, I think they fear that these regimes, they somehow distort the movement of people. They make tax a factor in moving. And I think they, the, the European Commission wants only, for example, the weather and the food to be factors, <laughs> but not tax. <laughs> people who think about moving around. Yeah, maybe I'm just sort of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, so uh, I, I, I get that because I remember uh, and it, the NHR in Portugal had to be modified because people were living there basically tax free with European pensions, and now mm -hmm. there's a ten percent. Uh, I remember that when Britain was in Europe, they were put under pressure to modify their non dom regime as well. So I, I see some modification, but are you thinking, uh, you know, are you theorizing that perhaps in the years to come 
they will be completely removed or no no i'm just i i don't see anything concrete happening but okay. like if we look into the future right this is probably something that the european commission will be thinking about yeah i see, and, I see. Uh, uh, it, it, there's nothing like going on there's no proposal for a directive okay. On, okay. on this uh, uh yeah. but but it is it is obvious that uh once the malta case is through uh mm. they will have uh uh a sort of uh, time to, to think of, of other topics and that could be one of these other topics yeah that's a that's a fair point but so if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.